If your child was born with a heart defect and you took Wellbutrin, we've got some interesting information for you today. I recently talked to attorney Rick Piliponis at the Higgins Firm to learn more. Rick, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. All right, we're going to talk about a medical issue right now. So this is when mothers have had a child who has a heart defect and they've been taking Wellbutrin. Tell us more about this and how they are related and how it could turn into a lawsuit. Well, there are some studies that have linked, they're, they're linking uh, the, the early taking of Wellbutrin or Zyban or some of the other uh, antidepressants in the early stages of pregnancy with heart defects in kids that are born to those mothers. So it can, it can cause some sort of defect, and if it does, then that's where a lawsuit comes. Right, so what types of defects are we talking about? Well, you're talking about there's a couple of specific heart defects that they focus on. One is, the main one is a narrowing of the main artery the big artery from the heart and that's that's the primary defect that they've studies have kind of have shown uh, is related to or can be related to taking of those antidepressants mm -hmm. and really the first thing mothers need to do is contact their doctor right away right absolutely anytime you have any kind of health problems or anything that you need a doc you need a doctor to look at the child and have a doctor go in and examine you know see what the prognosis is for the child because I, I think as we discussed before you have certain defect you know the kids are born with some nominal defects all the time and when they are a lot of times they'll just grow out of that defect and it may be something that doesn't doesn't cause any real future problems doesn't cause any real future treatment but right. some of these these types of defects if there's a significant narrowing if there are significant problems then you're going to have uh, you're going to have to have some further treatment. Exactly. Now, secondly, you say be sure to keep any prescription records you have. How is that, how is that going to help later on? Keep your prescription records. Keep keep all of your medical records. You know, as, as best you can organize them. It's it's good to keep those because that'll give ultimately that'll give a doctor something better to review everything. That's probably good advice for everybody, but specifically when you're dealing with someone who's got some injuries or some defect that you have to... And next step, of course, at. contact a lawyer. Sure. I mean, that's, you know, that's the only way to do it. And you, you have, as a child, if you get hurt, you don't have to bring any kind of lawsuit until you're an adult. However, uh, parents are responsible for children's medical expenses early on in their life until they're adults. In order to preserve those rights, you've got to bring that within a year within the statute that we have in Tennessee. Right. Now talk more about time limits. Of course, the sooner the better. Sooner the better. The sooner we can get something, the sooner we can get, you know, we can get a doctor to look at it. We can have someone analyze what's going on and, and see if we, can, if we can help or if there's something we need to help. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, great advice. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. The Higgins Firm is serving Tennessee. Give them a call at 615-353-0930. For more information and a link to their website, HigginsFirm.com, go to BetterNashville.com.